The Dufia of Mafi Adidome in the central town district of the Volta region, Togwe Kwasinika uh, Kaklo Ajiman the fifth has lamented the high number of incidents of death among the youth in the country. He attributes the death to substance abuse, hence advised the youth to desist from such acts, including intake of aphrodisiacs to avoid early deaths. He said this in an interview with Joy News on the sideline of a health screening exercise organized by a philanthropist, um, 100K for Ghana. 100K for Ghana is a benevolent organization made up of people from different countries intending to pull resources together to undertake projects to make life better for the underprivileged in society. The Health Screening Exercise, which is the second edition in the area, forms part of the NGO's annual plan aimed at extending health care to people who can't afford it. Bennett Nyasebi is the country director of 100K for Ghana. Our job is to complement the work of government because we realize that the government alone cannot do everything. So we as individuals and citizens um, are from Ghana and other countries across the world have just decided to come together, pull our own resources, including support from friends, partners and other people to undertake some of these very important social interventions that we have identified in communities. This year, we added the renewal of national health insurance uh, cards to whatever we were doing because we realized that a number of people are in the communities, you, you wonder they cannot even afford as little as 23 cities or 6 Ghana cities to renew health insurance cards, which can help them have access to health care. 244 residents in Ajidome and its environs benefited from the health screening exercise, which provided free consultations, eye care services, and medications. The top three medical conditions identified were myalgia, anemia, and hypertension. The Jufia of Mafi Ajidome, Togbi Kwasinyi Kakakololo Ajima in the feet, expressed worry about the prevalence of these conditions. It's obvious that most of these things can be attributed to the abuse of substance. I mean, taking all sort of aphrodisias and then unprescribed drugs and, and the rest. I'd like to appeal to them. If we are saying that the youth are the future, are the, are the leaders for tomorrow, then if we lose them this young, and as many of them as such, uh, it means that we probably be having no leaders tomorrow. So my, my appeal is to the youth, I mean the entire youth of Ghana, that they should, you know, uh, abstain from these things, abusing, abusing substances. And the elderly, um, I think that we will encourage them to be doing checkups. And that is why I am committed to bringing people like 100K for, for Ghana, I mean, periodically to, to come to our people, to come to the service of our people. The finance director of 100K for Ghana, Samuel Osei, appealed for support from the public to enable his outfit undertake projects aimed at improving livelihoods. So right now we started off funding uh, most of these projects and the health screening with our own um, monies. We wanted to show what we can do, individually brilliant, collectively superior, what we can all do. But going forward, we want to um, really push the public to donate as much as possible so that we can be able to put together health screening and, and, and you know, these type of projects. So that it really just provides livable wages for the community and also end the year in good health on a, on a yearly basis, such as um, what's happening here today. About 177 residents had their National Health Insurance Scheme cards renewed at no fee. Fred Kwame Asai, Joy News, Adidume.